how is it going guys you're watching visual intelligence and uh, welcome to another exciting graphics tutorial so today in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to achieve some uh, kind of color correction to your uh, photographs or portraits or whatever uh, I find it really cool really uh, easy to do um, and it has uh, this nice effect so this is the original image and this is the effect we're going for and uh, as you can see it's um, it's just a group of adjustment layers so you can go ahead and uh, copy that and paste it in other uh, PSDs or save this document as a PSD and then change the uh, image to whatever uh, image you want you can even uh, add your uh, you can even add your uh, same 4D files and uh, yeah that, that look also great as you can see I mean this is the original image and this is the color corrected so let's go ahead and uh, sh let me show you guys how, how to do that so let's go ahead control A to copy this image control N to create a new document control V to paste it and I'll just use that as an image to show you guys how to do this effect let's delete the background since we don't need it anymore uh, the first step you want to do is you want to go ahead and add a hue and saturation layer you want to change the saturation a bit to minus 40 something like that this will uh, decrease the uh, color intensity as you guys can see so next step is to create a new fill or adjustment layer uh, add a gradient uh, layer let's change the color to something like uh, from maybe uh, orangish to um, kind of red color and make sure that the second color has an opacity of 0% this way you get like uh, a color to transparent gradient sort of so yeah let's change let's keep the style to linear uh, I think it works best uh, change the angle to about minus uh, 45 minus, I don't know do whatever uh, you find uh, cool maybe you want to change the scale a bit uh, I think 130 125 looks great uh, that's looking pretty good to me let's hit ok and uh, I don't know what that is let's just hit ok control Z we want it to be a um, fill gradient layer so um, we can go ahead and change whatever we want uh, as we go so yeah make sure to keep that uh, property in there uh, next step is we want to change the blend mode to this new layer to kind of screen and this will uh, will make it look uh, I don't know make it look better uh, I mean if you go ahead and make it normal it will darken up some areas which we don't want them to be dark so screen works best so trust me guys on this and uh, go with screen let's duplicate the uh, adjustment layer maybe we change the fill to above 50% it's all user preference so just go ahead and do whatever you find cool uh, let's change the angle to the kind of the opposite let's change the color from here to something more like a yellow color and this will make it look great I mean in my opinion guys can choose whatever color you want maybe you can choose like a um, purple color and it will always look great uh, I mean this the beauty of this effect I mean you can go creative and crazy with that and it will always look fantastic so let's hit OK and uh, next step we want to do is we want to go to our human saturation layer maybe we want to add some uh, levels above that and uh, maybe we want to increase the contrast a bit maybe we want to uh, choose the blue color and then drag this uh, pointer to the right a bit and this will make it look I don't know kind of uh, I don't know let me, let me show you before and after so this is before and this is the after and the after looks amazing in my opinion so yeah that looks great next step we want to do is we want to go ahead and add a level I mean we want to go ahead and add a curves adjustment layer and we want to kind of uh, create this S shape to make it uh, 
a little more uh, contrast and um, one last step if, if you want to do it uh, no, I'm not sure but um, you can go ahead and add another gradient layer and change the blend mode to I mean the style to radial reverse that and change the angle to about 45 percent change the scale to about I don't know, 195, 1, 159%. I don't know, choose whatever uh, you find uh, cool. And uh, change the blending mode of that to overlay and maybe decrease the opacity significantly to about like uh, to 30%. And this will add a little bit of vignette to our image. Uh, so that's uh, pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something new. I hope you find it useful. Don't forget to check my other tutorials. I upload um, regularly, almost, whatever. Um, also, make sure to hit the like button, uh, subscribe, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Peace.